Hey guys, welcome. Uh, today we're going to have a short yet very important uh, business objects tutorial. Uh, we're logging into InfoView as a random user for the first time and we see that or we, we don't see any folders, any public folders that is. And I'm going to show you guys how to assign rights and what's the difference between applying rights to classes versus subclasses. Uh, I created this user called Delete Me. It's just an uh, you know enterprise user, a random user, uh, just for the purpose of this demonstration. Uh, and um, and this user doesn't have any access to any of the folders in InfoView. We're going to go to the folders in InfoView. I'm sorry, in uh, CMC, and go to the top level uh, security of the folders and assign rights to the everyone group. You can assign rights to a specific user or other groups as well, but for our purposes, and it's also easier that we deal with everyone group. And we see that everyone group only has that lead object rights, objects rights, uh, you know, explicitly denied. I'm going to go to advanced, assign rights, and advanced, add remove, and we're going to go into the general section of it. Let's take a look. Here. Okay, and we see that uh, delete objects is explicitly denied and the uh, two boxes to the far right, uh, first one is applying to the classes, meaning the parent folders, parent objects, and the second one is to the uh, subfolders or uh, subclasses. Uh, that's the only bo box that's checked. We're going to go all the way down, we see ob view objects, and here it is unspecified. It's, uh, the, it's uh, the yellow exclamation uh, point. I'm going to check uh, the first box applying to classes only and see the effect of it. Uh, get out of that thing. We have two rights. I'm going to go back to the same user window in info view. Uh, refresh this page. You don't have to uh, log out of this. And we see, we see that uh, right away public folders are is appearing. But nothing underneath it. That is the uh, uh, effect of applying to classes only. And you could, you know, and this is going to work for uh, other security, uh, uh, I guess, um, elements as well throughout this objects. I'm going to go back and assign the rights to the subclasses and uh, hit OK or apply. Come back to info view. And as soon as we refresh, we should be able to see the rest of the public folders uh, right away. And this is something very essential for every business objects administrators out there. Uh, we must understand this concept of applying rights to classes and subclasses. And this will make all of our jobs very easy uh, for uh, you know, configuring the rest of the rights in business objects. Hopefully this information will be useful for you guys. And good news guys, I'd like to reintroduce letslearnbi.com. It is completely redesigned. It now has a social connect feature you can log into our site very easily and ask your questions yes well, we have included a uh, user forum section where you could ask any kind of bi questions i myself will be answering along with of course all our uh, youtube community uh, and thank i'd like to thank all of you for subscribing to our channel um please visit the website uh, start your own topics over there uh, you can find you know many different bi topics on the site including upcoming events and webinars and of course bi news last but not least you can um, follow us uh, on via twitter facebook uh, or subscribe on our site directly the, via the rss feeds uh, thanks for watching see you next time